हेलो पापा हेलो बच्चे रेडी ऑलवेज रेडी ओके सो लेट मी गिव यू अ सिनेरियो एंड लेट्स डिस्कस इट फर्दर ओके श्योर ओके नाउ एवरीथिंग इज मूविंग टुवर्ड्स एजेंट्स राइट यस व्हाट इज एन एजेंट एज फार एज आई रिमेंबर इट इज एलएलएम प्लस टूल राइट सो व्हाई डू वी नीड टूल्स वी नीड टूल्स टू परफॉर्म सम टास्क to perform actions, actions some tasks yeah. right because yeah. llm can perform LLM right? can not perform llm can just answer, answer. questions yes. right yeah. so now every company is trying to have their own agents agents okay. correct now let's try to think now that every company is giving their own agents yeah. what is the scenario okay for example make my trip has an agent oh i was not aware of okay it let's say it has acha okay okay, okay that <laughs> let's say it has yeah. and then we have say air india agent or indigo agent mm. Okay. And so many other apps, Goi, Goi, Bibo, and so correct. On. Yeah. So now, what if the the agents themselves can talk among themselves and see that okay, what are the flights available and like other kinds of tasks. Agents will talk among themselves. Yes. But they are competitors. Make my trip and Indigo are not competitors. No, Make my trip is Make using my, Indigo. Uh, yeah. Okay. Make my trip is using. Uh, no, Air as India. I said. Uh, go ibibo is also uh, that is among trip. themselves yeah. that is when one agent is using another agent like okay. like okay. that right? understood let me give you one more example suppose we have a recruitment agency okay or any company that wants to recruit candidates okay okay so we can talk with linkedin agent definitely correct so definitely. recruitment agency like for the database and all other things ha huh. like the candidates right yeah, that yeah. what are the candidates for this particular role and things like that so recruitment agency the agent can talk to your linkedin agent agreed correct agreed like this suppose salesforce crm has an agent yeah now any company that is using this crm can use the agent agent okay correct okay so now there is a need that how do the agents talk to each other looks interesting right yes. because this is very very recent never heard of let me very first agents talking, talking to each to other, each other yes. right So now there are companies that are competing for protocols for this standardization. Oh. Okay. So first question that comes into everyone's mind is that there is one more protocol that we have learned, right? Which MCP. Is, yeah. What which stands for? Model context protocol. Yeah. How do you think that is different than this use case? Basically, uh, as far as I remember, we had done a video on this. Hmm. Uh, if I am not wrong, model context protocol is basically used to call the tools. For, Correct. They lay down a particular process so that anybody can use that process. Yeah. It is a model. To list your own tools, to yes. use tools, and so on, yeah. right? So yeah. standardization for tools. Yes, standardization. So if you think about it, that is within an agent. Okay. Right. So yes. agent is LLM plus tool, yeah. and standardization for tools is done by MCP. MCP. Right. So if you understand what I am talking about now is agent to agent protocol. So that is different than MCP. Is the difference clear first of all? Certainly. MCP Certainly. is within an agent, and now when we have agents, now how do these agents talk to each other? Now there are protocols for this. They can also be standardized. Yes. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. So in April 2025, Google came with A to A protocol, which is agent to agent protocol. Okay. Okay. With April so, 25, that means yeah, already that six is, months are over. Uh, yeah, yeah. Seven but months, it is yeah. still very, very recent, right? Okay, okay. So now what has happened is so MCP came by a company called Anthropic. Yeah. Okay. Now there is a lot of FOMO in all the companies, and every company is trying to like you know pick up the standardization that our standardization should be used everywhere. So now all companies are trying to compete in this area. Ultimately, it is a business. Correct. Yeah. So Google's A to A protocol came in April, which is agent to agent protocol. Okay. but this is not the only protocol i am sure that a lot of people might have heard or might not have heard might be in the development stage also correct and there are like 9 10 protocols that are there by now different companies that are catering to this problem only okay so now every company is trying to see that okay how can we you know uh, launch this standardization be the first one yes okay so there are like two three protocols that are based on blockchain concept okay okay and then some protocols have the same name also like acp is a name which is there for the protocol by uh, cisco also and by ibm also so how one they, is how can they have same name so one is uh, agent connect protocol and one is agent communication protocol <laughs> the c is different uh, but both are acp so like this the po- the point is that everyone is trying to have their own protocols for the standardization understood, understood. but so far the most standardized is the a2a they have created a lot of bunts which is by google's okay yeah. 
right so we will try to understand how a2a works internally that is the goal of this without video. whiteboard without whiteboard i can explain Don't okay worry. very good okay so we will try to understand in very simple well, terms at least no tough questions for me I don't know maybe <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay so now we know that two agents are going to talk to each other that okay. is the goal okay. of this protocol okay, okay? so okay. now we have to understand how it works internally okay okay clear before we move ahead i would just like to take a minute over here to tell you how you can learn live with me at educourses at educourses we have various courses for interview prep i have high level system design low level system design dsa for project based learning if you want to create really interesting scalable projects not simple clone ones check out hhld it is mern plus devops plus hld we have hands on generative ai course where i have not just covered the application side but also the internals of llms in a lot of detail with white paper discussions transformer architecture and so much more 10 hands on projects have been covered over there please check out the curriculum the testimonials the linkedin profiles of our all our students is tagged plus if you enroll for any of our courses you get lifetime access to all the batches the past batches the future batches so you will get access to the zoom recordings of the live class so you actually get a feeling that it is live itself this is the feedback that i have gotten from all our students that it really feels like it is live only even if it is not live but if you want to attend live only you will get access to all our future batches as well so at least check it out i would love to be part of your further learning journey and if you still have any questions feel free to reach out to us at support@educourses.com or just drop a whatsapp or call us at this number and now let's continue so now we understand that we have two agents they are supposed to talk to talk each other to each and get other. some tasks yeah yeah right now in every task there will be one agent that will be asking or requesting to do a task and there will be one agent that will be serving okay like it obviously could... it's always that one is asking or like requesting for something like data or something and the other one is performing the task understood. right understood understood yeah right so this the usual terms that are used are client and server client server that, yes, that, is that you yeah, know right yeah. so here also they have used the same term that one agent is going to be the client agent the and one the other will uh, will ask will be the client and, and the, the other will be the server, server. Agent. the name suggests itself correct okay the server agent is also called remote agent okay okay now just understand this that this is very relative like for example uh, make my trip will be client for say indigo agent but it can be server for another agent that is like a booking platform which is also using airbnb it is also using make my trip okay yes quite possible correct similarly suppose recruitment agency now if my company is using recruitment agency then the recruitment agency becomes server for my server. agent yeah. but then it becomes client for the linkedin agent okay right so same agent can be client also it can be server also is this concept clear definitely yes so now we have to think that how will these agents talk to each other right so let's take there is one client agent and there is one server agent now okay. these two agents have to talk to each other okay is there any difference where, when you are configuring this agent or server is there basic difference in the construction or uh, what happens exactly so right right okay see now every agent is going to tell what i can do right what are my skills so what are my capabilities what is it that i can perform like indigo agent will tell that yeah you can book flights using me you can yeah. check availability of flights using me right and the client can then decide whether to use it or not correct okay so similarly linkedin agent is going to tell that you can look for candidates you can look for updates or maybe a short list of candidates correct okay right so here if you think about it one major problem the first problem that we have in this agent to agent protocol is discoverability how do we discover the other agents that are there that can perform a particular action okay right so if i have a client agency say for example make my trip or recruitment agency how do i know that where the other agent is and what does it do depends on marketing again marketing but think in terms of technical way uh, i'm uh, saying marketing in technical way only until unless i make it clear what i am what are my capabilities uh -huh. the people will not means the uh, clients will not know correct but now we are talking about protocol what is protocol standardization okay so now how does every agent tell that what are the capabilities that i can do okay. so do you write in a resume or do you write in a pdf how how do you tell that this is what i do okay so there is a standardization that is needed correct yeah. so you are saying marketing but then how do you market it is there any start standard process is this the 
format in which you have to share what you can do. I'm not aware, yeah. Right? Yeah. So what every agent, like for every server agent basically, in that in our case, every agent, what every agent has to do is expose something called agent card. Okay. 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 That you can think of it like a business card that we had given, no? That this is my okay. name, this is what I do. Okay. okay. So okay. what will happen is that every agent will have an agent card saying, see, this is my identity, like this is my name. This are, these are the skills or the capabilities that I have. That I can deliver, yes. Yes. Okay. Now, agents understand natural language, right? So you can think that this will be natural language in a particular format. So there is something called JSON format. Okay. In that format, it gives that, okay, this is my agent card. So that is exposed at a URL. And where is this available? A, at a well-known, uh, so there is a URL, there, there is a link okay. where it will be present. Okay. All okay. the agents. All the agents will have their own links okay. or their own URLs. Okay. 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 So now when any agent has to integrate with the server agent, it will see the agent card. It will see that, okay, uh, this is where you are present. This is what you can do. So it will be able to connect. Okay. So this is how the discoverability problem is solved in A2A. So every agent is supposed to expose their agent card. Basically, the problem is getting solved by using the agent card. Correct. And how well you define your agent card depends again. Right. See, one thing that I want to tell you over here is why A2A became so famous, why we were able to create so much of buzzes, because they were they are using the standard processes that are already there in software engineering. Okay. Like you know HTTP, right? Yeah, yeah. So for communication, when the final communication happens, the messages go, the task happens. They are using HTTP, HTTPS only. So, and the format is still JSON, which is standard software engineering practice. Oh. Even for authentication, authorization, the standard process that is already there in software engineering, the same thing they are using. Basically established practices. Yes. And that is why they are gaining so much of buzz because it is built on top of what is already there in software engineering, plus some standard practices for agents. Okay. Make sense? Already standard practices for agents have been laid down. Yes. So that is what these protocols are doing. So okay. A2A is telling that this is how the agents should expose themselves. This is how other agents can use. So okay. that is the protocol. Okay. Great. Okay? Great. So once we understand discoverability, what happens that now agents can connect to these server agents. Now they will know that, okay, this particular agent is available and now I can start using it. So our first problem of discoverability is there. Understood, okay. understood. Now in this agent card, no, there is also some scheme, schema kind of thing that is present. That is like, um, this is how you can authenticate or authorize that. The, can you actually use my capabilities or not? Like not every agent can come and book a flight. Not every agent can come and see the candidates on LinkedIn. Do you have the right or understood, not? Understood, understood. Right. So first problem is discoverability. The second, second problem is authentication. Is authentication. Right. After that comes the communication. Okay. Right. And uh, the communication also is in standard, like as I said, over HTTPS. Right. And here the messages are sent in parts that, okay, this is the type of message. Is it text? Is it any other form of message? Maybe, right. Maybe and, a file, maybe a, a pic, picture. Correct. Okay. And this is how you're going to send it. So okay. exact communication, like how it is going to happen, everything is laid out in the protocol. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. Understood. And now one way is that, okay, when agent asks for something, you can just respond at that time itself. Now they can also be cases where, you know, uh, the server agent is going to take some time to respond. perform some ask, respond, uh, yeah. action, right? It is possible that maybe it is waiting for some human action. Maybe human is supposed to come and validate. Maybe there is a timer that do something How after. How many process time itself? Huh, process time. In fetching the data or something. Correct, correct. Or perform some action. It may be nanoseconds or something, yeah. Even one day. It can even be one day. That perform some action and then let me know mm. or do this for one day. Okay. Right? There are different kinds of actions that are possible. Okay. So now what happens if we do not get the response at that time itself? So A2A is also taking care of this asynchronous stuff. Asynchronous meaning not happening at that time itself. Okay. So that is why A2A is becoming famous. It is taking care of uh, firstly, the discoverability, e discoverability. It then is authentication, care of authentication communication. communication and asynchronous communication asynchronous. as well. Asynchronous is giving a time lag basically. Yes, that you don't have to do it immediately. 
so what happens in http no in usual that is why i told you that usual standard practices that are there in software engineering the same thing is being used okay. so in usual like what if we used to have right now like simple servers and if the server is not able to respond at that time what can happen is over http you can open a connection and then server can respond can talk the, to each other yeah, yeah this is called streaming yeah that is server true. sent event streaming okay so same sse like server sent events can be used here also okay right so a2 is also giving you the provision that okay this, there can be asynchronous communication you can respond when you are done with your task okay okay right so that is why a2 is becoming very famous and that is what i wanted so today is your this topic was why a2 is becoming popular and how it works internally okay right so right. discoverability authentication uh, and then communication communication and the asynchronous part of it so did you enjoy definitely always learning new things so a follow up one last point that i wanted to tell you so do you know that now like just think about it for example now agents start talking to each other and they do everything themselves okay what will we do <laughs> that is not <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> no. jokes apart yeah yeah but now i am also asking you that can the agents also negotiate with each other and can they also take care of the payments new food for thought <laughs> so this is, this comes under a new protocol which is called a2p agent payment protocol oh now this is again something new that has come why does a2p then agent pay- agent payment protocol so app two p so a2p okay. is what they are calling okay, it okay okay right so this is another like food for thought and then we will do another video on this sure but the point is that there are now so many protocols standardization that is coming because now every company is trying to expose their agents so how does communication happen how can we standardize the entire but process so this development is mind boggling yes but this is all happening this year this is like pretty recent stuff pretty recent. so even like you are saying that it has been 6 months so it is old right but then people also say that oh it is one month old now i am sure there is a new agent that has come up right so new protocol that has come up so this is like a race where every company is trying that in fomo Capture can be the, yeah, yeah. yeah okay great so this is what i wanted to cover and thank let's you, discuss a to p let us know if you would like us to cover a to p in the next video right only if they tell us then we'll discuss yes so how many likes do you want in this video as Uh, let's take a number <laughs> number <laughs> let's say 500 okay if we get 500 likes then we will put the that is a that is a good a target to so if you really want her to cover a to p please ensure that you give us 500 likes and not just a to p i am also thinking that i will make you write code for agents <laughs> i do not know whether i'll be able to do but i'll definitely enjoy it so if you guys leave comments and like i will make him do that okay Thank you very much for watching and if you have liked it please do like share and subscribe thank you thank you